Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, Saka here, and welcome to Hockey Manager 2020. This code was provided to me by the developer Netmine Games out of Germany, and they reached out to me because they saw my Motorsport Manager series and thought that we might be able to give the old hockey management a crack. Um, looking at it, I was pretty interested because we could... Uh, create our own team. Now this uh, game isn't licensed by the NHLPA or anything like that, so you won't find any uh, actual teams um, aside from Spain and France, I believe is what they're working with, but the uh, they're, you're able to import your own teams, your own custom logos, your own custom uh, players and whatnot, so it's only a matter of time before the NHL teams are, um, you know, released in full force, let's say. So I have done what I am familiar with and created a NASCAR group here. Uh, we are the Charlotte Racers, and as you can see, if you're familiar with NASCAR, we have all of the drivers in the 2020 season here on our lines. I, I adjusted their height, their weight, and gave their skill appropriate to their driving skill here in hockey, uh, but you know, these are NASCAR drivers and not hockey players, so we'll see how well that does. As you can see here, we are Lisa Sakakino. We have moved from our Motorsport Manager series and decided to run a hockey team. Our first opponent is the Montreal Maples, so not the Maple Leafs, but the Maples, you get the idea. First thing we need to do is, uh, let's just look at our inbox here. Welcome to our game. So you can uh, pick this game up on Steam if you are so inclined. We have staff management training and camp planning and some manager advice to follow. All right, so coach advice at the beginning of the season is useful to hire an assistant coach. All right, so we will go to searching a coach here. So we have different attitudes here, the authority, tough, tactician, scholar, game lover, all of that good stuff. Uh, we can see their salary as well. Uh, one thing that I want to see is do we have our finances in order here? Um, ba -ba -ba. Just getting used to the UI here. That's our team. Here's our management, I would suppose. Yeah, our annual salary is 28.8 euros. Okay, balance, bonus for balance, bonus for a championship. So that is me and my, um, my statistics here. I tell you, this is a pretty overwhelming. Coming from Motorsport Manager, this looks to be pretty good. Uh, here is our, our stadium. Looks uh, interesting. We can change seat and bench prices. We'll probably leave that be for now. Um, wow. Level of convenience, dressing room, car parks, expenses. Moving to a new stadium. No, we don't want to do that. Signing an extension. Okay. That's pretty cool. Um, let me get a hold of all of these... Uh, different menus here and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, uh, you know answer those emails all right I think our first uh, coach here or um, contract will be with uh, Jeff Rada 44,200 euros per year for one year that way we can sort of get our um, get our feet under us all right that's good 16th position that's sir that's awesome goalkeeping coach all right, so higher skill would be nice. Uh, Jason Runwick, for one year, 31,000 euros per year. We have 1.1 million euros. Um, let's go ahead and get a skill seven goalie coach up in here. Hey, there you are. You look awful familiar there, guy. Let's sign that contract. And now we have Jason Runwick and Jeff Rada as our coaches. Other employees, our medical department. All right. 82 grand per year, talent scout, liaison officer, and media, media manager. Okay, that looks good. Awesome. So I think uh, we have that set. Uh, we got staff management. All right, we make sure that we plan the training for the entire season in advance. There you can set the training week using the buttons at the bottom left. All right, training. Holy crap. <laughs> Man, this is... Um, this is nuts. So do we set by week that we're going to do? That's crazy. All right, let's go with uh, tough fitness and let's go passing. Let's go defense and strength and then give them an off week. 
Uh, let's go face-offs, game situations, defense behavior. Yeah, let's do four weeks on and one week off. Let's do a normal fitness. Give them a free time. Let's see, passing. Coordination. And then back to defense. It's interesting to assign the, uh, the training schedule in advance. You don't know what you are really weak with until, say, the, the season starts. So we'll just uh, get a nice round uh, a nice round schedule here. Face-offs, defense, power play, and game situation. Give them an off week and then do a very tough fitness schedule. All right, so that will be saving our training plan, the Lisa's training plan. We'll save it. All right, so is that set there? All right, training camp. There's also the training camp and motivational measures. Keep an eye on your team's values and react accordingly. Before the start of the season, plan a training camp as there's no time for extremely effective measure during the season. There is also an option of having a training camp carried out by the assistant. Um... Training camp cheap, short training camp, special hospital visit, motivational seminar. Okay, that's uh, interesting. Man, it looks like uh, this is pretty in-depth, I will say. Drag and drop actions, holy crap. Yeah, this is one of those things if you're not coming into a management simulator of this... Uh, Oh, that's uh, interesting. The tab goes away. Oh, okay. <laughs> Tabs sort of go away there whenever you select one. It's kind of misleading if you're looking for a tab. Okay. That's a, uh, you know, it's in beta. I'm sure they can get that uh, stuff fixed. But uh, we've, we've done the training camp motivational assistant. All right, sweet. So I guess we're taken care of. All right, next we need to get our line situated. So I will go ahead and set up our drivers on the appropriate lines here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, drivers are set up on their lines. The first starting line will be Kyle in center, Martin Truex Jr. on the left wing, and Denny Hamlin on the right wing, Kyle Larson and Eric Jones on defense. Ryan Newman is going to be our goalie because, you know, it's hard to pass Ryan Newman, that is for sure. Second line will be Jimmy Johnson, Alex Bowman, Chase Elliott with William Byron and Kurt Busch. Line three will be Brad Keselowski, Joey Logano, and Ryan Blaney with Austin Dillon and Eric Almarola. Our fourth line will be Kevin Harvick, Cole Custer, and Clint Boyer with Christopher Bell and Tyler Reddick. Our hero line will be basically line one, Bush, Truex, Hamlin, Bush, and Bell. Our power play line will be Bush, Truex, Hamlin, Byron, Jones, and Newman. Power play two will be Jimmy, Alex, Chase, Christopher, Kurt, and Ryan. Our penalty kill line one will be Kyle, Ryan, Kurt, Byron, and Newman, of course. Line two, Johnson, Hamlin, Jones, and Bell. 4v4, Kyle, Austin, Kurt, and Brad. And back to line one. So our lines are set and uh, feeling pretty good about that. For those of you who are wondering what kind of features come in this, uh, in this session, we have ice time here that we can get a quick glance at how much ice time each line spends on the ice. We have our defensive behavior. Line chemistry, we haven't played with each other before, so of course our chemistry is going to be garbage. We're all fresh. We've got bigger team spirit, better fighting spirit, and the same amount of fitness, so that is looking good. Offensive behavior, we can see interesting things here that I can probably tweak uh, and then our task yeah um, we can see all of the drivers with all of the perks and their ages all right we've got our training set up possibly and we can see uh, our stats for all nice to see that we are not uh, you know being outmatched by Montreal too much there's our animal animal annual planning screen, our ability training per driver, and our medical station if we need to uh, see injuries. We have our plays that we're training and playing, training camps, yeah, all that good stuff. Our youth team, now we don't have anybody in the youth team. Um, it's showing that Redek Z, let's see, prepare to join the club for 800 euros per year. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to sign the 16-year-old, but we have the 15-year-old and the 12-year-old. So, you know, you can scout pretty early, it seems, 
and a farm team. Uh, if we set up um, a reserve team for us, that would be pretty cool indeed. Maybe a minor league for, say, the Xfinity drivers or the uh, Gander Mountain Camping World Super Outdoor Truck Racing Series, whoever. All right. So that is pretty much everything that I think we need to set up before we start playing. So let's go ahead and get to the ice, and I will see you when we face off against Montreal. How about that? We met someone. What a fantastic guy. Detlef, normal, wants to invite you to dinner. As we are a single manager, uh, looks like Detlef wants to take us out to dinner. It's a shame that I can't, like, click on him to see you know, what's going on, but we need to focus on the season. Oh, great. Christopher Bell has visited a seminar for coaches on his own cost. Good job, Christopher. He learns that he doesn't want to be a coach. However, the seminar helps him learn a lot to improve his skills. Good on you, Christopher Bell. That's pretty cool. Uh, that's one thing that motorsport manager needed more of is the drivers to, um, you know, do their own thing. All right. And the trust of the management of the board is a percent. The board is very satisfied with your work. To increase the board confidence, you can make an, an appointment for a board meeting. But be careful. If the meeting doesn't go well, it can harm your reputation with the board. Uh, we'll go to the appointment. All right. So um, fan advertisement, searching for talent, searching. Recruiting sponsors would be good. I mean, we are a NASCAR team, so sponsors would be very, very good. Let's uh, recruit some sponsors here. Okay. Let's see, your reputation is at 61%. Go, yeah, go to PR. We need to, uh, let's see, the media attention increases with a probability of 7%. Let's see, club presentation, a day with the fans. Reputation by four points, but the freshness of the team. So we basically, I guess, haul the team out to meet with the fans. Okay, season end party. All right, yeah, we'll do a exclusive, cheap, a premium, premium party. Okay, so we've got different varying levels of uh, cost here. A premium media attention increases. Why not? We'll get we'll get some pregame hype up in here. Man, 143. We lost half a million euros just off the bat. Maybe we don't want to do that. We'll do a premium press conference here. Uh, and we need to slide that into our calendar, apparently. All right, we'll put that right there. So Thursday the 11th. So, wow, we're getting down to the daily. That's something that I'm not used to with Motorsport Manager. Yeah, we'll do a premium press conference. Um, let's see. Season end party. No, sponsor presentation, though. Yeah, we'll do sponsors. Okay, that, that should be good. All right, sponsor acquisition. No main sponsor contract set. You should do that soon. Also, an exclusive sponsorship has not been set and a premium sponsor. All right, so our main sponsor, Gamers Fashion Pool. Okay, do we... Okay, basic sum. So the last agreement we can keep the same. Championship bonus. Yeah, we'll we'll sign with Benuto to get some ice uh, some ice sponsorship there. All right, so Air Duck, not Netmine Games, or Benuto Fashion Pool. I mean that looks really good. The basic sum of ninety four thousand sponsor spectator bonus is higher as well. It's a one-year contract, so we're not pigeonholed in. Yeah, let's sign that one. Benuto is going to be our main sponsor. All right, here we go, our premium sponsor. All right, do, do, do. Uh, AUA TV, 50,000, with a spectator bonus, 2,000. That sum is bigger for the tip-top Hausmeister service. Yeah, we'll go tip top high mount, high mouse to service. All right, our basic sponsor. All right, sure, we'll sign that contract with one year and our pool sponsor. All right, eight participants. Okay, that's fine. So it looks like we've got some ice sponsorship as well. Maybe we're doing that. 
The calculation for this season has not been set yet. Calculation screen. Expenses calculated. Revenue calculated. All right, so is blue income and red expenditures? Oh man, holy crap. Okay, I'm gonna have to take a look at this in further detail here. Pretty overwhelming stuff. So I'll go through here and see um, what we can do here. We've got merch, that's awesome. Transfers, players, employees. Okay, our hall. Our youth teams, man, farming team, miscellaneous. There is a lot of sliders to look at here. So I'll go ahead and get my calculation set and be right back. Yeah, Jersey's fine. Next match is in 13 days. It looks like we might be getting a little bit better on our positioning and passing, thanks to our training. All right, yeah, that's fine, I knew. All right, next match in six days. All right, if nothing happens, we will uh, get on the ice. Nice, we got 1,500 pre-sales. Very cool, next match in one day. So July of 19. All right, next opponent, Pittsburgh. All right, let's schedule some training. All right, um... No, that's fine. We'll, we'll give them the week off. Yeah, don't adjust. All right, let's go ahead and play. All right, so we're a 7.4 rating versus a 10.6 to the Montreal Maples. Not feeling like we are going to get the win, but let's go ahead and play here. Total strength, 7.4. Defense, eh. Yeah, goalkeeper's about there. Fighting spirit, though, and team spirit's much better. Same on the training level. Let's go to the match, and uh, wow. The spectators have sold out. All right, to the match and we are off. Holy crap, things are going by really, really quick. Is that the end of the first period? All right, there's place, there's no place for doubts in hockey, just believe in yourselves. Um, yeah, just keep concentrating and the victory will be ours. The players are concentrating. Oh, we got some 3D here, shoot. Nice, that looked like old uh, Kyle Bush with the goal there. Yeah, we're leading one to O oh after the first period. All right. Um, all for one, one for all, then we will win. Goal by Blaney, good job Blaney. And we're in the third period about done and there we go. We have taken our first victory here. Player of the match, Jimmy Johnson. Eric Almarola with the assist. Ryan Blaney with the goal. Brad Keselowski with the assist. So the Penske line getting things done. That is awesome. All right, can we see, that's them. Can we see our, our goal? Are goals here anything? Oh, we had 30 shots on goal. Let's see, nine duels. Yeah, a lot of stats up in here. I would like to see though. Just, uh, yeah, cause that looks like them. So is this us looking at what they've done? And then a telltale, all right, so in the eighth minute, Kevin Harvick taking a swing on the one-timer. Pass festival is initiated. No problem for the goalkeeper. Oh, looks like Tyler Reddick got checked. Eric Almarola gets two minutes for interference. Oh, so Eric Almarola got sent to the penalty box. Montreal Maples, the team starts to move, but no one comes in a promising position in the 18th minute. Joey Logano wins the puck and gets stopped. Harvick hits the goalkeeper. Montreal Maples, nice pass, but no goal. Good job, Newman. And there is our score in the 23rd minute. Goal for Ryan Blaney. All right. Two minutes of tripping, hooking, so we were on the uh, power play. 
We play wide triangle, but it doesn't work. All right, so I might slow down the simulation speed because that game was like really, really quick. Um, just slow it down by half, let's say. But nice to see Jimmy Johnson with the player of the game. Anaheim Tweedies win, we didn't play them. Uh, against the Detroit Motors, L lucky victory. Narrowly game victory in the match, Charlotte Racers, Montreal Maples. The spectators went wild. Jimmy Johnson convinced the reviewers with a solid performance, which is also a reason for this victory. Look at Jimmy Johnson's smiling face. All right, match of the day was the Colorado Snowmen. Team of the day, Jimmy Johnson was the center of the day. Good job, Jimmy Johnson. Uh, looking at the, let's see, we should be in the Eastern Conference standings. There we go, the Charlotte Racers in ninth place with one game, one win. Beating the Washington Cops, the Maples, the Shirts, the Climbers, the Cats, the Thunders, and the Hells. Carolina Stormers, though, that'll be a rivalry. Being in Charlotte and Carolina, that's going to be uh, that's going to be something to look out for for sure. All right, sweet. Oh, we're up again against the Pittsburgh Northbirds. So the Penguins looks like Bubba is uh, really increasing. We gained a little bit of line chemistry as well, one percent on the fourth line. Yeah, we're getting some line chemistry in there. Maybe by the end of the year, our chemistry will be pretty, pretty solid. We might as well do another game here since that one went so quick. Uh, we are in Color Arena, and holy crap, um, they're at 10-7. I mean, but in uh, for all intents and purposes, we should lose. Oh crap, good stop, Newman. Good stop, Newman. Oh crap, they're at it again. Aw, oh, Newman, come on. All right, so it's one to one. Holy crap, who got the goal so far? Um, who got the goal? Who got the goal? There we go, there it was. Where's the goal? Chase Elliott with the goal, outstanding. Good job, Chase. All right, uh, let's see. Game on, focus on winning, concentrate. Yeah, this simulation is going by very quickly. I'll slow it down so we can see what's going on. Oh crap, save Newman. Aw, oh, come on, Newman. All right, two to one. We're still within reach though. All right, uh, come on, let's fight for the victory. Get motivated. Oh, there goes Boyer. Boom, Clint Boyer with the goal. Outstanding. Good job, Clint. We're tied up two to two. Oh crap. Dang, this is a goal frenzy, that is for sure. Oh, there goes Kyle Busch in with the goal. Outstanding, Kyle Busch. All right, so we finish uh, the game tied up. We'll go into OT. We'll see if it's a sudden death here, if we can get it. And uh, Pittsburgh won four to three, but we do get the point for going into overtime. We got Chase Elliott with the goal, Clint Boyer with the goal, and Kyle Busch with the goal. Eric Almarola with a two-minute penalty. Deserved defeat. Well, screw you guys. Deserved defeat. Charlotte Racers was defeated. Only Chase Elliott gave the Pittsburgh Northbirds a hard time. All right, perhaps because of the too fair style of playing, Kyle Busch threw himself into it to avert the defeat, but the Charlotte Racers was too weak. So Kyle giving it everything he had. Um, yeah, so, so far two games played. Um, Kyle Busch was the good center of the day. Outstanding. All right. So I think, yeah, and we're on to the next match in the next day. Now we're concentrating on our game here. All right, so we're up for the next match. Um, if you would like to see more, definitely let me know. Um, we'll continue getting familiar with the game and slowing down the simulation time, but we did gain some chemistry here and we're one and one for the season with a loss in overtime, so definitely not bad. No, I don't want to quit the game. Okay, so we can't go to the, the main menu it is. All right, so I'll... Uh, I'll figure out how to save the game here, and uh, we'll see you in the next episode of Hockey Manager 2020. But that will do it for me. Like, share, and subscribe if you are so bold. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.